Look at this, bro. This is the problem with when producers and rappers and all these people get comfortable with using distribution platforms that are suboptimal. When, when the distribution companies start taking over, they start monopolizing and they start implementing all their own features and they start doing all this stupid shit. It's like if you're a real one and if you're a real content creator and no matter what kind of content it is, you would be uploading your own YouTube videos. No one needs a manager to upload their YouTube videos. No one, zero people. Like if you're some company and like watch Mojo, you wanna upload like a thousand videos a day, then maybe you need a person to upload your videos. Maybe you need a bot to do it, right? But nobody who actually has integrity in the content that they make needs anybody else to upload their videos for them. And, and when people do stuff like this, posting their videos onto other people's channels, trying to get promotion or whatever, it, it makes everything confusing. And it's like, I feel like this is, there's gonna be a tipping point at some point. Like, I don't think people realize what I'm talking about because most people don't like listen to leaks and stuff like that on YouTube. But through Yeet and all this stuff, I listen to a lot of leaks. And I, it's just people just uploading stuff on YouTube all the time on every channel. And it's gotten to the point where now they can get away with it, which pisses me off because that's exactly what I got in trouble for. And if I was doing it now, if I had like the same, cause I had this like mental block in my head from losing so much from uploading other people's songs. But if I implemented that now, I would be a god at it. I can make so much, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna upload all these leaks and all these other people's songs and I'm gonna make money from it. Watch me. And it's like, I think for most people, this is not a problem, but I want to reach out to these artists and collaborate with them and go like, wow, you made something beautiful. Let me, let me uh, hit you up. Let, let's get in the studio together. You know, let me, let me record a video for you. Something like that. And so I find this and I'm like, okay, Kronos Ethereal. That's what I searched up on Apple. And then now it's gone. It's no longer on Apple Music, but I remembered the name. And this is like, this is the song right here. Listen. So it's that, and it makes for a good TikTok audio, you know? And then there's, when you search it up, you find this, produced by June, which is the kind of thing you'd find if this is the person who was making the song. Then I don't know who the hell Cronus is. One of them is making money going through some middleman on DistroKid or whatever, and DistroKid has taken like 10%. And if this kind of thing happens, and I've seen this kind of thing happen where the distributor will copyright, will, will send a copyright strike or a claim to the original uploader, because it doesn't know that it's an original uploader. It's just sending claims out to anything that has a content ID, which is what you would want in some cases if you're using that as your main channel. But why the hell would you want a main channel where comments are disabled? Comments are like the lifeblood of a community. And this is obviously same cover art, same song and all that stuff. And I'm like, why'd this get removed from, it said Cronus, Cronos, Cronus, Ethereal, I'm like, why did this get removed from Apple? And then I tried to um, Shazam the song to like, cause Shazam is connected with Apple, at least mine is. And I just opened it up on Apple Music and this showed up. Pepis Masterpiece? And it has no views. Six months ago, it has no views. Again, DistroKid, provided by YouTube with DistroKid. Stop doing this. Stop allowing DistroKid to upload your songs to YouTube. Upload it directly to YouTube. Allow DistroKid to upload it everywhere else that you can't upload it to yourself. But YouTube, SoundCloud, Audio Mac, and maybe if you want to throw it on some like music, like a uh, uh, mixtape websites, you know, my mixtapes or whatever, live mixtapes, uh, Spinrilla, all that stuff. If I'm sure people still use that. I'm sure there is like hardcore people that still use that stuff. And there, there might be a resurgence in the future. Just, uh, you know, keep an eye out, keep an eye out for things like that. But um, it, why, why the hell would anyone accept the conditions that like, oh yeah, please upload my song to YouTube, take some of my ad revenue, my, my uh, YouTube red, or uh, not YouTube premium revenue and don't allow any comments. Imagine the comments on this kind of thing. That would be amazing. So many of like, so many great, amazing songs don't have comments enabled. Bro, this one was, this is probably my spookiest beat. I already have a nostalgic connection to this song. It hasn't even been that long. There you go. So this one has comments because it's not a topic channel. But these topic channels, why the hell do you want a topic channel? 17 million views. Imagine the comments on this. I want you to think about this, bro. This is the hardest version of the song. And comments are disabled. Why would you allow this? It's like people that upload music 
today they like through distributors they like don't use their brain like why oh, you you could have genuinely this video right here if you uploaded it on your own thing first of all if it had comments there would have been more people liking it and more people coming back to view it because they would have been getting replies to their comments and that would have boosted it in the algorithm even more. It would have had 20 million views. This video, I don't know how much it earned this guy. This video could have earned him $10,000, maybe something like that. I would assume $10,000 at most. If he had uploaded this to his own channel and not through a topic channel, guaranteed 50,000 views, guaranteed. Like, why would you turn that down? You already uploaded this one to your channel. Why not upload the other one? Like stuff like this, you totally could upload this if you just throw in like a cool edit, you could get people on Fiverr to make cool edits. Oh, this is like a money printing machine right here. The only problem is the risk like of uh, getting copyright strike because you can't go through and ask all these people for this. You can't. You just have to hope you get lucky and end up as one of these guys right here that, uh, oh, maybe millions of subscribers. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he is going out and licensing all these songs and licensing all these parts, but this, falls under a really great area of fair use because of the edit, right? I feel like it creates for a lot of great arts, but I feel like a lot of musicians are gonna lose out on a lot of money and a lot of potential to make their careers. And they're just gonna be stuck being starving artists because they don't realize the value in uploading your own damn YouTube videos. Like this is a tragedy, bro. This, this needs to have comments. This is tragic.